Hi, we're here at the Lantern of Chagrin Valley Assisted Living Community just outside Cleveland, Ohio. And we're talking with Rachel, one of our family members, about her experiences in choosing assisted living. Welcome, Rachel. Welcome, hello. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me, Rachel, when you were first considering assisted living, how did you get started? Did you get word of mouth referrals from others? Did you call an agency? Did you go online to get information? Oh, I did. I, I had a hard time starting out, um, but I went online and um, I just, I found a, a lot of locations and I interviewed several uh, places, probably six, seven or eight places. And I was having a difficult time because I had two parents, both with uh, two separate dementia illnesses and my dad's was progressing far much more than my mother's. So as a daughter, uh, that was quite a lot to have to handle two sets of searches, if you will, two separate needs at the same time. That I was very difficult mm -hmm. to meet both needs. So when you were actually going to some of the communities, you mentioned you went to quite a few, what were the things that you were looking for? What were your kind of guidelines? I was basically looking who could take both my parents in a setting when I got, they really wanted my dad in a nursing home environment. Uh, that's what the long-term uh, care facility or the short-term rehab I had him in. He, they're like, oh, he needs nursing home. And I'm like, that doesn't work. I gotta keep my parents together. They've been together for 55 years. So I was trying to find a situation. If I did nursing home, I was looking at like 20,000 a year because they wanted both individual separate rooms. My mom was not a nurse at a nursing home level. It was, it was very difficult uh, time, mm -hmm. you know, trying mm -hmm. to find a place. So I was trying to find something to meet the needs of both parents. So when you looked at a number of different communities, what made you choose the Lantern of Chagrin Valley? Uh, the Lantern, one of the major reasons I chose the Lantern is, uh, well, first of all, I had my parents living at my house mm -hmm. and my dad required a lot of physical therapy. One of the things that I did not like about in-home physical therapy is everybody brought the equipment to uh, me. And um, it was just very difficult. It wasn't a real experience. He wasn't progressing. The Lantern, what I enjoyed so much was they had a separate facility for physical therapy. And what's great about that is they are here all the time. They uh, see the patients all the time and they have their equipment right there. So right. it's, I mean, you see them all the time. Mm -hmm. And that was such a benefit. I didn't have to worry about, okay, we have another, uh, someone coming in that might not be the same person. We didn't know who we were getting. That was the number one reason. Another reason was because they would take both my parents. I mean, I had my mom look at the place. It looks like a home. You're walking into a home. So I truly loved that. And my dad was still able to have his needs met and they would accept him uh, not in a nursing care, home care environment. So it just, um, I, I love the ratios. Mm -hmm. It was great. Well, now tell me also, if you will, no, I apologize for that phone ringing here. Okay. Um, someone's going to get there. There we go. Um, tell me about the relationship you have with some of the staff here, caregivers. Um. Oh, I do. You know what? They, I, I will tell you at first where it was hard that this was a new facility. So I know, unfortunately, the Lantern was trying to find, you know, you get your good and bad. You have, it, it's, it's a process that it took some time before um, I could meet people that I truly uh, liked. And sure enough, after a couple of months, I mean, there were some people that have just loved working with my mom and, you know, working with my dad. Unfortunately, my dad didn't live that long here. Um, he passed, but, uh, you know, I, I, I really like the fact that, you know, people were engaging with my mother and treating her like an individual and not um, like they were her true caregiver, always needing to be there uh, for her needs. So I like that. Mm -hmm. 
So if you were speaking to a friend who was a daughter or a daughter-in-law and in kind of the same situation looking for a potential assisted living community for their parent, what advice would you give them? I would definitely tell them to look around. You know, you figure out what your needs are and make sure the place meets your needs. Are the ratios good? You know, are there activities for the, um, uh, for my mom, for your dad, whoever you have been, can, I, are they gonna accommodate them? Are they gonna make them happy? Are they gonna engage them? Uh, it's not good for them to stay in the room all day. What activities are gonna be met? And I do have to say that's another thing for the lantern. My mom is, isn't as social as some of the others, but that's a very positive um, mm -hmm. thing. You know, they engage. Mm -hmm. Here. Well, thank you so much for visiting with us today. We appreciate the advice you're sharing with families, and uh, I thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right.